Why Where did my ornament go? Rude. Hmm. <laughs> um. Ah, yes. Don't knock it till you try it. to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Do I look like I cooked for six people? Yes, Palma gets two serves. No. I cooked for three. There should only be enough food for the three of you. Oh. Now that you mention That's it, not how making food works. Me. Well, if you insist, then who are we to review? The travel's already <laughs> seated. Uh, but we'll still let our guests enjoy the first oh, bite. right. Of course. You're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. Lenny, that's you. <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. I mean, I can't blame you. I wouldn't be in this dish. What is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so Sure, it's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. I guess I call it shrimp here because it's not Australia. Uh, I can't eat prawns by themselves. I very much need to have small miniature prawns in like a fried rice. I can't just eat it. It, I just, it, no. I don't know if it's a tasting so much as a mental thing. The mind says no. Um, uh, all right. Hmm, <laughs> what is that? Crab rope? Yeah, vile, isn't it? Yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab, compliment succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. Luscious mouthfeel? The, uh, what? <laughs> The crab roe glitters like Ugh. pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well-spoken? No, she doesn't remember right. Memorize. No, she's regurgitating what someone else this wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh huh? Probably when you were busy yapping away. I heard that in Liyue, the biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Isn't that true for any country? Any chef has gets receives the biggest compliments by having empty plates returned to the dishwasher. Wait, don't fight over it. Hey, leave some for Paimon. I told you, I only cooked for three. Uh, are we going to get more friends? Because it seems odd to have a mini game for just one dish. Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. <laughs> I've never seen you eat so much. Yeah. Well, Lenny and I are usually careful about what we eat because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus, it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But. Once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. Agreed. Agreed. And overindulging just makes you feel sick. Don't recommend. Huh. Okay, are we done yet? So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. I guess it's day two. I did say part one, so. Yep. Part two, 6 a.m. Yunk. Whoopsies. Let's not be late for work. There you go.
Morning. Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. Maybe. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day to day here. For the record, I could never do this job. I've worked in a, uh, a restaurant at a hotel and it's just the stress the chefs are under. Absolutely not. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely you? picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. <laughs> yeah, that just walked through the door. Oh, have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Yeah, again, that just walked through the door. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original. Or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. I knew that voice. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please. As fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. How can you eat that much food? Farzan! Oops. Uh, Madam Farzan. <laughs> oh, my. Traveler, Paimon. Whatever are you doing here? We can ask Fair you question. the same thing. <laughs> Why'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu. <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Why are you guys here? Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Dory, why did you make that mistake? Never do that. Layla and Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this company. Yeah, it seems weird to me too, but... Dory, why? For example, just take advantage of your courtesy. Why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath? You invite the three to sit and explain that you're helping out. Temporary Wang Shuin. chef, huh? <clears throat> wow, no rest for the wicked. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Liyue specialties. So why are you all in Liyue again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. I thought for a second she was insinuating that they'd traveled here on the ship. I'm like, dude, Wang Shu is not near, you know, the sea. You're not getting a, a, a river up the lake, uh, off the other river. Yeah, a boat up the river. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Where's Dornman Port? That's not the Monstadium one, is it? Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress oh, testing. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like illegal overtime. Uh -oh. Time for which they'll both be fairly compensated. Mm -hmm. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. <laughs> both here willingly. Oh, I don't know about that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. I mean, why not if that's the contract stipulation? <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... That's always amusing to me. Just because someone tells me to order what I like, I'm still not going to buy an expensive dish because that's just awkward. I'm going to pick something that's to my taste, which is usually the cheaper ones. Uh, and I also can't eat more than I already eat, so it's not like I'm going to overcompensate and eat as many dishes as possible to make the most out of it. It's like buffets. It's totally wasted on me. I can still only eat a small portion of food. It's such a waste on me. <clears throat> Farzan, uh, 
Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, so touch the door. Remember that most expensive does not always mean best. Yeah, I literally just said that, but in different words. I wouldn't go for the most expensive dish anyway because I probably wouldn't like it. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Does Farzan not like seafood? No. I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, oh, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Hello? Hello? That's great. Not Thank to you. mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Nah, man. She just needs some sleep. Huh? There's a difference. Oh. That's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farzan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? Because she's so blatant about it. So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, traveler. Okay, what can we cook up for Dory? Smiley. We need to make something quick. So, expensive, but no seafood. And nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Uh, yes. Uh, rice paper rolls. Are those Vietnamese, not Chinese? I don't remember. I don't eat them myself, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from some Chinese places. But I have a feeling it's Vietnamese. Oh, that Dory! Is she doing the quick, this I'm trying to say that they'd be quick to make, so. Uh, I bet more that she is. This isn't Liuli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic they ingredients. They don't want rare exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special That's reservation. That's absolutely the opposite of what she's asking for, actually. Well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for that. Food's food. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. May I ask why? 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. That doesn't mean you charge more for it. If it takes the same amount of time as a simple dish, it's just you expending more effort for it, but the customer's getting the same result. You shouldn't have to pay more for that. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips. How is that quick? And gently. Stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. That sounds very time consuming. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. I think someone who likes traditional Chinese food uh, made this quest chain because they're really being very verbose about food flavors and shit and i'm just like i really don't care it's food do it right <laughs> and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands but if you botch it it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate oh paima gets it now so this dish gets its value not from the ingredients but the chef's expertise that should be every meal in a restaurant do you think I'll be able to pull it off? No, don't worry. No. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work No, for you. you can't. You just focus on bringing it all together. Keep your hand off the meat, sir. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs> Smiley, back away from the kitchen. I wonder if I get to keep these recipes afterwards. Yep. 
Yeah, the keyboard's easier than the mouse. <laughs> I can't get over how joyful she looks every time. Appetizing to me at all. Not even remotely. Not that it matters. It doesn't go to the customer looking like that. Food's ready! Please enjoy! Ooh, smells delightful! Oh, we meant to ask. Have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Are we not at work? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? Why did she become so generous? That's a really good point. <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, Wait, come what? on, sit down and join us. What the Everyone <sighs> dig in. Uh, is she making a business deal with me? Why this do I have to participate? Simple enough. And I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? You really should have set a budget, Dory. This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Everyone begins to wait, each harboring their Is private this concerns. Foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Why are Quite your marvelous. eyes shaking? How is this made? The smokiness is from the ham. That was my addition. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Haha, <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Yes, they do. Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? That is a fantastic question, Layla, and I don't have the answer for that. You see, um, that's a trade secret. They couldn't answer it. It's just a matter of practice. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah, Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also, the complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble, the name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? She's a scholar. Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Jesus Christ! Wait. Is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, no. Who has time to learn 20 languages? Also, there are not that many languages on Trevac, can I point out? Uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? Oh, Hyman almost forgot that you're also from Herabitat. <laughs> so, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? You really should have set an upward limit there, Dory. Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000? <gasps> I still don't find that justified. <laughs> if it didn't take that long to make, you cannot charge somebody that much amount of money. That's just extortion. Uh, about that, by 
Paimon. Traveler, I nearly invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Except you bought the dish. We just purchased from the... Uh, sorry, ate from the dish you purchased. We didn't make any extra food for us. Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. 30,000 more surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sangama Bay. Sangama Bay, sorry. I'll talk to the boss. We should be able to do a 20% discount. Hey, there's no need to... Oh, uh, well. It was your hard work anyway. You can call the shots. 20% off of 30,000? <sighs> That's still a pretty hefty expense. Yeah, but it's a discount. A discount's a discount, man. Take it. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. Of course she's thinking about future opportunities. Typical. Wait, Layla's just chilling. Layla, you've been abandoned. Oh no, they're inside. I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirits. I never thought you'd take on such strenuous work, Layla. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Considering how close the Mary is to Liyue, I think the stars are the same. Oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience. Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Alrighty. Smiley. If there's a part three, are they going to be from Inazuma? We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on... You and Paimon work flat out until closing time, serving countless customers. A whole other sentence I didn't get a chance to read. Sounds about right. Oh my god, there is a part three. Oops, sorry. Totally paid attention. 6am, yeah? Oh, really? Morning. Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. With days of experience now under your belt, the work is becoming Great second nature. Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait! No! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Yeah, you should know better. You should never hey, say things like that. that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue, too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broad and a zooming fellow. But, uh, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from what? home. What? Don't we, Ayato? Why are you here together? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be Ayato, but with other people. I didn't think it was going to be Ito, dude. Oh, whoa, Checker! What are you doing here? This, how is this guy still on vacation? Huh? Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, uh the sky-cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Didn't you say you were going to knuckle down and earn some right? when you got home? How come you're back in Lily's so Right. Soon? Ah, that can wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing Mora at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good spicy food. Let's put some soybeans in it. Cookie, why are you not keeping this man on track? Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Mm-hmm. The look on Chinobu's face seems to say... Don't ask. So what about you, Ayato? Strange company you keep. Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. 
Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. But, alas, it was too late. Wow. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! It's your competition, you idiot. Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! Uh, dude, you don't need more to pay for it. Is I to splurging on the two of you? Uh, I'm the chef. Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, Woodchucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. The main chef is another guy. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. The chefs don't normally leave the kitchen, bro. You can probably go to the kitchen and fetch so, a smelly on shop. Uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds. I don't really or... want to pay for that. Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more uh, down to earth? Down to earth. Cheap is what he wants to say. Oh, well, well we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Best value for your mora doesn't mean it's cheap. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. Oh, God. Hmm. A bro just knows. I had thought. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> Bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows. Oh, what have you done? Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. God, he's just, he just goes with the flow, this one. <sighs> Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying. I'd expect no less of the bona fide beetle battle king himself. It sounds like a truly epoch-defining duel. <laughs> epoch-defining. Is it Shinobu? Wrangle these idiots into order. And yeah, I'm not counting how to on that. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Fill me in now! Rude. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. You didn't even know the heart Still, of it. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled um... by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Craig, hold, hold up, back up. Craig, we've been wrong. It is soy, right, that Ito can't have, right? It's soy. Tofu's made from soy. Uh, you can't have tofu. Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Oh, Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask me to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito. Hey, dear lord, where's our food at? Hurry up! I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. He doesn't even know what's in the meal. Just use mate. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. We're locked in now. We've got a caucus dish. How about we throw in some free appetizers? Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Just change the dish. He won't know the difference. He doesn't, you didn't say what was in the dish. <sighs> don't even listen to me. Fine then. D don't blame me for the consequences of your actions. Yeah, let's go, 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 go. We've done enough times already.
That's a lot of chili. Colors go together. Like you can't tell it. That's tofu. Where are you gonna hey, feed the man? Food's here. Oh, so this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo! Love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. Please don't, <clears throat> boss. We should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Do we have to eat all the tofu? Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old-timey traditions weren't your style. Maybe let me dig in first? Uh -huh. Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Ah. Uh. He doesn't understand what's going on. You, Parman, I had to help yourself, leaving very little meat <laughs> behind. I see. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Wait! Don't. Huh? Wait, what is it now? You know the drill. Huh. Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh, Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish. I just, I don't understand why you still cooked it. Wasn't Smile Yansha all about, you've got to cater to the tastes of your guests and you've got to take their dietary needs into consideration and yet you just cook something that's literally poison to one of your customers. I just, I don't understand why we made it. Origin story, dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going, <laughs> am I right? Down the gullet. Uh, well, um, Skipping the origin story is like, like going traveling without a tour guide. Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right then, give me the full story, I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start with... The ingredients. Actually, no. Let's start with the story of Wang Xiuin. Who's eating the rest of the dish while we're doing this? With the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, traveler. Got it. While Ito's distracted, Yun Shinobi begin to gobble down the dish. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah. That's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. But we're already beyond stuffed. Ayoto, contribute, uh, man. Go, oh, compadre. Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Hey, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta <laughs> do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liwe. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course, including mine and Ayato's. 
Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? <laughs> oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fam, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? I just... Why? Why didn't you just make something he could fucking eat? You trying to poison the man? Count <sighs> Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. You didn't really come from the Onikapato fighting contest, did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable <laughs> No <variety>. kidding. <laughs> no, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. How come you didn't come to the land of right then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. Yeah, but now you've got me intrigued as to what your actual business is. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Um, he'll eat anything you put in front of him. Oh boy. Are we gonna go to Liyue and Mondstadt now? How many more rounds of this do we have? Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. The rest of the day passes without incident. There's a part four? Why? <sighs> I have to go out and buy Final Fantasy soon. I don't have time for a part four. Maybe I should come back and do this. I should come back and do this another day. That's what I should do. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going in circles. So, we have completed the commission. Where's closest Leo Harbor? Sounds good. Catherine, I want my Primer gems. So, you really oughtn't stand there. You're always in the way. You know, if you just come and help. I've completely blanked on her name. Nothing would have uh, gone awry. Add Astro. Ting Ling? Mm, I don't remember. Thank you for comp having a moment. Whoop! I am so sorry, Catherine. I apologize profusely. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. What are you hunting me for? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh! Okay, there are only four quests. Interesting. So we have no indication of what's going to happen here. Okay. I wonder if we're just going to be on start. Kept goldfish as pets? It's okay. I, I'll still do it on the weekend. Three days. We said three days, yeah? Today is Thursday. So it finishes on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. 